How's it going everyone? John here and welcome back to another Streamlabs OBS tutorial. If you're new to the channel or new to the series, be sure to go ahead and take a look around the channel and see the other content that's on it. And if you're enjoying that content, be sure to go ahead and subscribe and don't forget to click the bell icon. So for today's video, I want to talk about how to use the donation ticker here in Streamlabs OBS. It's very simple to set up. So what you're going to want to do is click on your scene, create your scene, go over to sources, click on the plus, and what we're going to go over to is the donation ticker. So as you can see here, this is pretty much what we're going to be looking at today. So click on the add source, give it a name, and this is going to be what you're going to be working with. So you are going to be able to see pretty much how it's going to look in here. This is your preview window, being able to see, you know, your font name or font color, the everything pretty much. So what we're going to do here is we're going to make sure we leave the messaging format as it is that way it shows the name and then it also shows the amount that was donated and then you can also set up how many of these you want to see throughout the entire ticker so if you want it to show 10 donations fine if you want it to only show like three you can do that too you can also set the scroll speed so if you want it to be say a little bit like like not slower but like faster and everything then the further left you go it's going to increase it and then if you go further to the right, it's going to make it slower. So it just matters on how you want it to be shown on screen. So I'm going to go to number two just to kind of speed it up a little bit so you guys can see what I'm talking about. So the background color, don't even worry about it. Just, just leave it as it is. That's completely fine. What we're going to do is go to font settings. So here you'll be able to mess with the actual font you can choose whichever one you want. You can mess with the size. You can mess with the weight. So if you increase the size a little bit, it's going to be a little bit larger. If you want to mess with the weight, so we can bring the weight down a little bit. And now it's going to make them a little bit thinner. So it just matters on how you want it to look. Text color, you can mess with that. Same thing with name and same thing with the amount. So you can mess with those colors as well. And for sources, this, if you ever need to refresh it, you can. And that way, if there's any like weirdness going on or it's, it's not displaying or something like that, you can just click on that and it will try to refresh it for you. But I leave all this stuff as it is, so I wouldn't touch anything. So then what we're going to do is click done. And now you can see that I have some donations that are populating. And if I wanted to make it a little bit larger, I can do that too. And as you can see, the larger I make this box, the larger that stuff is too. But you can see as fast as it's moving, it's very blurry. So if you keep it small, a small box like this, it's not too bad, but maybe you want this box to stretch, right? So what we'll do is we'll click on the properties by right clicking on donation ticker, go to properties, and we can go ahead and mess with this. So let me move this over a little bit here. So let's say we want to increase this by, let's say 1200. So now this box just jumped larger, right? So we'll click done and then we'll just drag it over. So now we have a much larger box and we can kind of fit that where we want. So let's say you just want to kind of like have that message on the bottom here and you just want to leave it like right there. So that that's pretty much how you can go ahead and adjust any of that type of stuff and get everything set up for your donation ticker to display that stuff on screen. This is a lot easier using a donation ticker versus using like a stream label or anything like that and pulling it from a text file. So this will pull it directly from your donations when it comes into Streamlabs and stuff like that. So it's pretty cool. But if you guys have any questions about this or any questions about streaming in general, be sure to go ahead, take a look around the channel. You can talk to me in the comments, talk to me in the Discord, and you can also reach out to me whenever I'm streaming or any other type of avenue that I have for you guys. It's all going to be in the video description. But thank you so much for your time. I appreciate it, and I will catch you guys in a future video. Take care.